follow me. Come on. Do you want to hold my hand? <laughs> A bit of the old Claddagh and Amber. A bit of the old Bradford City. Can you keep up? Come on. I don't know if we should be filming down here, but let's have a look anyway. As you can see, they've closed this road off. All these windows, all the doors are now blocked off. You've had the likes of the Rolling Stones, you've had the Beatles, you've had Led Zeppelin going through these doors. You've even had my dad going through the doors back in the 60s when the Beatles played here. Now it's all boarded up, doing absolutely nothing, but not for long because we're going to try and save this old beauty. Come on in, catch up, watch the cobbles, love. Don't need tripping up and causing yourself a mischief, do we? George Galloway, one second. Hello. All right, what we've done now, we've come round the back to show you what it looks like at the back and also to show you all the action that's going on behind the cover up that they've done on the front. Um, all these workmen are here allegedly to take out all the asbestos, which was allegedly taken out some years ago. Um, this asbestos is a danger to the public. Now, I'm sure there is many, many, many buildings in this town centre that is riddled with asbestos. Uh, but they're not going to pull them ones down, are they? All I want to really show you here is the fact that things like this, we always look at the front of the Odeon, but you don't realise how big it is, and there's a lot more to it than the gorgeous looking part of the front, but this might not be here for much longer if we don't do something about it. Right, if you just want to spin round to the right, Ian, Ian's the cameraman, say hi, Ian. Hello. You can see these for sale signs, auction signs, etc. down here. These are blocks of flats or apartments that have been done and they've got a guide price of between 30 to 40 thousand pounds on them and it actually says it on that board there and they cannot sell them so why would they want to flatten the Odeon to build apartments that we just can't sell one of the reasons I think personally and this is not the view of anyone else this is my own opinion is because the council whether they're full whether they're empty will get council tax on a weekly basis for every one of them apartments now instead of having a block of apartments that are going to have mucky windows empty and look like an eyesore on the town centre, we could have the Odeon refurb. People say, well, what will we do with it? Well, we could have a small cinema in there, maybe something along the lines of um, a more traditional looking place instead of one of the blocks like you get at the Odeon up at Thornbury, like your showcase cinemas, where it's not as intimate as it used to be in a place like this. We could do one out where you get the Usherettes. Red torch showing you to your seat, popcorn ladies at the front, etc. We could have an O2 Academy in here, we could have big bands back in Bradford once again, we could have museums in there, we can have a restaurant, we can also have um, indoor markets. The place is huge, have a look at it. It's not just the front, it's not just a couple of cinemas, it is a massive, massive building that has got endless possibilities. 